them all. I just want to document. Oh, uh, we're so collecting. How much? Wait, but how come they already called the state? Because these are uh, mail-in ballots. <laughs> are there a ton in there? Yeah. All right, are you collecting from a lot of places? Yeah. All right, I'll just, I'll just document. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Are you guys official election guys? All right, and let me just ask you one thing. Where do you guys take them? Election center. That's it. Is that in the government building? LA County. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are there a lot more in there? Six feet, please. Okay. Thank you, guys. I just want to see because they called our state so Six quickly. Feet, I know. I am. You don't have a you don't have a mask either. Oh yeah. Sorry. Do not Trump shares video of two american scots on camera packing ballot papers on the roadside actually donald trump is the 45th and current president of the united states before entry politics he was a businessman and television personality donald trump was recently defeated in the 2020 united states presidential election which had on tuesday november 3rd 2020 after that donald trump doesn't actually agree with the vote Count in which he still believes that he will win the election. Just recently, Donald Trump shares a video of two Americans that were caught on camera packing some ballot papers. In the video, a lady who record the video was heard asking the two Americans, "Where are? What are they doing?" She also asked if they were election officials. In which one of them replied yes by showing her his identification card. Well, President Donald Trump used his official page, Facebook page, to share the video also on Twitter as well. Hmm. Okay. The video actually shows the two Americans packing the ballot papers and also putting them inside some huge bags beside them. And we can see, of course, we've seen the video. The pictures are all over the place. The video now goes viral on various social media platforms. Can you imagine that? Can you really imagine that? Well, notwithstanding, uh, we saw that video there. I think all of this should be put, you know, this are part of the evidence that it's going to show in court and let them look at the whole thing thoroughly. So I'm sure a lot of Nigerians will be surprised that what has America turned to? Of course, this man asked the same question. Donald Trump asked the same question that what is their country turning into they just have to look at everything realistically because this whole thing is not really looking too good at all because you know when people have been uh been looked upon eye up there and you are beginning to hear and seeing this thing you do you know if it's to be in nigeria you now say ah of course yeah those are the things that have been happening of course with that people have have been complaining you know, we want a better place oh america is a place that a most of the time they use as a point of reference. Oh, don't you know what is happening over there don't you know what is happening there but seeing all this kind of a thing you know it's uh, it's going to have a very big dent on the country. Well, Donald Trump will surely win and succeed. He will remain the president of U.S., according to um, people commenting. Um, we have a, his followers. We have a people who are also the followers and fans of the other party as well. And someone says, amen, yes, he will. Okay, he will fail. Amen. Until then, why don't you wish the same success on Asso Rock and stop wasting your data? Don't, uh, don't mind. I mean, don't say nonsense. I don't know why you wants to. You want to White House to Family House? Oh my God! This one, this one statement is something is. Don't let Donald Trump uh, matter key you, sir. Why would you want to die for what does not concern you? Fight for your country. Why won't? You bother about you bothering yourself over what does not concern you. You are not America. Why are you killing yourself over the Trump matter? Don't mind that man. Well, uh, take the evidence to court and stop disturbing us. Of course, people believe that that is the best place to take it to. You know, this man is just like a you know, just acting like a, mm -hmm. at, like acting like a 
uh, the way at least let's say african african not african let's nigerian nigerian politicians the way you know this is the level the style we see because we can we can't just be talking of africa we talk about nigeria we talk about our country that we are really used to of course you know if something if you are if you are short of ways in some things, you know, these are the things that will be happening. I think a baby has not seen this kind of a thing before. And that is why he's trying to like, oh, yeah, everybody has to see this. They want to rob him uh, in the broad daylight. They are robbing him or they've robbed him. And that is what he's trying to let the whole world see what has been going on. Of course, a lot of people are really disappointed. We know that there's corruption everywhere, but the magnitude at which... It operates differs from country to country. So maybe that is why he's so surprised and he's sharing everything. You know, before now, he has been talking about oh, how he's going to be robbed, how he's going to be cheated, fraud, 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 here and there. He's been saying it even before the election. And don't forget, too, the same thing was done to him when he won last uh, election cycle, which was in 2016. He, people came out and said, oh, it was uh, Russia that helped him. You know, a lot of fraud here and there they were talking about. But... To this extent, but those people just the opposition they just quickly considered defeat and just congratulated him, but they were still on that uh, issue. And I think that was what people uh, were expecting him to do, or they are still expecting him to have done. Even if you are going to be, you are going to be talking about the election, uh, my practice fraud here and there. Just do the needful, then you can go back to your drawing book and begin to say, oh, this and that. Well, it is in within his, his right to do whatever he wants to do, and don't forget, nothing is permanent. You know, that's it to tell you that uh, those people that you are looking up to, a lot of things must have been going under it before now. Maybe Trump is just the one that wants to bring it out. But until everything will be will be dealt with in court before we know the the end point, whether is whether the, it will be all those evidence will be uh, will be will be good enough or will be strong enough for them to act on. Okay, what does that supposed to mean? Electoral official pick up vote from a mailbox. And so, what did they supposed to do? Throw the votes away or not to pick up the votes? I don't understand. Psycho, what do you expect them to, to do? Because this person believes that uh, those people were just doing their whatever. They are doing their job. Because if you look at that thing it, in a broad daylight, and somebody was talking about their, their official badge, you know, and showing the ID card, even the car that was parked bef beside that mailbox, you know, it's, it has a tag. And they do mailbox in this election because of a coronavirus, you know, people just go and drop your stuff there. And I think that was what the people went there to go and do, if you, if you check at it thoroughly. But Trump is telling us that uh, it's the way they, they were picking this in, on, in broad daylight, or they have, they, he just believes it's a fraud. Of course, he believes it's a fraud that uh, they were caught on, a cam on camera packing ballot paper on the roadside. Just like somebody asked, where were they supposed to have packed it? It's not supposed to because we could see the main bus there. Maybe that, okay, it's locked. Then who opened it? Because that thing cannot just be left open. Maybe there's a place, a, a, a small space that you can pick, put your, your votes or whatever you are using to vote, but that place will be locked. And it is these people who have the right, who... Uh, the officials that can go there and they will open it up. So maybe that's what happened. I don't know whether you are seeing it that way as well. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comments below and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.